What's happening, people? What's up? It's Ben and Rainy here. <laughs> That's my name. Yeah, Rainy's over there. Sorry. But anyway, we're here. Welcome back. Welcome back. Vlog day. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we're going to talk about anxiety. Why? <laughs> Why? I don't want to. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's talk about it. Let's get into it. What just happened? Why do you think that I am an anxious person? Um. What just happened? The veggie distribution? Yeah, the post office. I don't know what happened. Okay, see, she's not anxious like me. So I went to the post office, and at the same time, the sheriff was pulling up. At uh -huh. the same time, I was pulling in. Okay. He parked. We locked eyes. I hate cops. Anyway, I park illegally because I'm triggered. That wasn't illegal. There was no color on that curb. That's true. That's true. But I was triggered, so I did it on purpose. And then I came out with a haste and uh, did not use my blinker or whatever. But anyway, cops trigger me and uh, our neighbor was in front of us and he drives like an old fart. Fart. <laughs> <laughs> he drives like an old fart. Like an old fart, thank you. Which is and a good thing. Yes, but he stopped for the full three seconds and used his blinker because he's scared of cops. That's yeah, the only reason he why. did it. He doesn't do that. Uh-huh. That's frustrating. People are scared. Why do you think that much? I don't know. Like, I don't know, but I didn't use my fucking blinker. And okay. I nearly back rear ended him trying to be an ass. <laughs> I don't know. Cops make me angry. And we just sat at the veggie distribution for like, it took them 10 extra minutes to open. And I'm like Capricorn and like, what the fuck? It says 1030, it's 1040. Mm -hmm. So that's frustrating. It's but how do you get frustrated? I'm humble. Hour. Free food, you know? We need veggies. I don't know if it was free. <laughs> I wonder if there's like a minimum donation, you know? I didn't see it. Maybe you don't ask for donations and give out veggies. I don't know. <laughs> but Ben's been anxious for a couple of days. His theory is that something life-changing is going to happen, and he just oh, doesn't know what. So I now forgot he, I said that. Yeah, so now he just, like, everything he does, he's anxious about it. And it's. I don't, I don't mean know. to be. No, I know. I know. It's, it's like, that intuitive yeah, shit. Yeah, it's that psychic shit. You feel like something's going to happen. I don't like Aren't that, you? but it doesn't mean it's bad. No, exactly. It just feels like a change. Something yeah. is coming. And I don't know. I don't know if it's good or bad, but it feels like a big change is coming. Yeah, and see, I just don't feel that. I mean, maybe I do, and I just like. It's Mr. Beast. He's definitely gonna call me. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Ten grand, baby. That's all we need, man. <laughs> Pay my rent for fucking with you. years over here. You know. Yeah. No. No, but a while. <laughs> yeah. Um. um but yeah, but I don't, I just ignore the feeling, I'm sure, I don't know. Well anyway, let's talk about what we were talking about when it came to um, Mr. Beast giving away Lamborghinis. Oh yeah. That's Remember a good that? One. Remember yeah. that? So, give the audience a second, what do you think is wrong with giving a poor person a Lamborghini? I'll give you a hint, it causes anxiety. Yeah, it's a two hundred, three hundred thousand dollar car that you have now, and it's worth more than your entire life and anything you own. And the insurance is probably fucking outrageous, more than your rent. Mm -hmm. um, what's, what else? Tags, plates, you know, all that shit. Registering it, and now you have to inform the government that you own a three hundred thousand dollar. And try car. not to let anything hit it, any birds poop on it. Park it in the safest fucking area, which doesn't exist. I live in a trailer park. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Lamborghinis are bad. Lamborghinis are trash, bro. You can't give people fancy shit like that. Yeah, not like that. Not like I'll that. I'll take like a brand new Ford Bronco. Like you can't even give, here's the problem. You can't even gift people like houses because what if they can't maintain it? What if they can't afford to maintain it? What if they can't afford to move wherever that house is that you bought them? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not that easy. Well, he's definitely a all pay inclusive kind of. Okay, so <clears throat> I watched this TikTok. Oh, okay. I don't have TikTok, so tell was, me more. And it was Mr. Beast saying, if I give you $300, will you fly to Paris and bring me back a baguette right now? And the guy's like, all costs are covered? And he said, yeah. He said, hell yeah. So you see him running to the airport and buying a plane ticket. $300? Going to Paris. That's it? It's, I don't, know. I wouldn't drop my life for $300. Not, not, no. It's not that. It's the fact that you know that Mr. Beast just paid for him to go to Paris. For I, I video, guess. For I wouldn't video. go, though. I would. Hell no. You need, psh, Don't they check, like, vaccine status and oh, shit? Oh, yeah, you need a passport. Yeah, dude. I don't have vaccines. <laughs> no. 
Yeah, see, see, it comes with complications. Yeah. You can't just send me across the world. That I can't. I legally can't. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm legally trapped in America. Yeah, that kind of sucks. It does suck. But I will not bend over to bow down. Nope. I don't want no geriatric dick in my ass. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Talk about... Never mind. Biden? No! <laughs> How'd you know? Just from the word geriatric? No, you were going to say, bi you, you started the B. You went... I was going to say bitch. I'm uh, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. We, uh, don't, we don't ever cuss. Um, beep, beep. Anyway, so yeah. Trying to cut that out. So, I actually had my own personal anxiety attack. Uh, you did. But I blame Ben. Completely. Talking about the other night? Yeah. Oh my God, she lost it, guys. Uh, see that... See, see, that's so toxic. I know. Um, <laughs> I know, sorry. I, then, I, I love her to we, death, but... We went to Nogales. So and I, had, I had had a drink right after we got back from Nogales because I was anxious as fuck. So I drank my we wine. Was anxious. We saw a squished kitty. Yes, a out. dead squished kitty. He was staring at me. It was bloody. It was disgusting. So, I yeah, I kind of... So I lost it first, sure. Time. Yeah, I wasn't losing it. Then we come home and he's fine and I have an anxiety attack and he's like... I'm like... I'm drinking wine. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we took it, like, personally. But anyway, I had this anxiety attack for, like, almost no reason. Like, I have no idea what happened. It just happened. Um, that's how anxiety works. Yep. But that was that was when Ben told me he feels like a change is coming in. I don't know. The boys are supposed to be coming in a couple of weeks, but that's yeah, very but that's, normal. That's so normal. That yeah, yeah that's, not, that's not it. Yeah, so it's just random... And but you're going to take a ride up to get them with your friend? That'll be fun. It'll be so much She's fun. She's going to have a road trip with a girlfriend. Yeah, it's like a mini road trip. Kara. Yeah, Kara yeah. Grove. They know who Kara Grove, Grove is. Grove yeah, show. she's on the podcast. And it's going to be super fun. Yeah, because, <laughs> uh, well, she's my best friend. So, really. <laughs> oh, you got gonna, the BF badge. I, well, <laughs> she already knows Because I was going to say something like, well, she's the kind of girl that plays music and chills when she drives. But obviously, you're gonna be comfortable with your best friend, you know. So right. I get to go on a road trip. With I like my best to talk friend. when I drive, and Rainy's like, "Can we turn on the radio?" Because <laughs> I like to vibe when I drive. Nope. Nope. But Driving anyway, gives me anxiety, so I like to talk and not think about the drive. So we're gonna go on a little road trip up somewhere to get the boys, and it's uh, in the mountains. So you know, maybe we could see snow or something. Like it'll just be. It'll be fun for yeah. uh, a stressful And a huge event. help for us, Pofo. Yeah. She has a decent car, so mm -hmm. we don't have to rent one. It'll be so much better to just have to worry about gas and, like, a tire if something happens, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, because I have to drive all the way across one of the cities to get there, but, like, that's so much better than having to rent a car. And what are you going to do, park our car at her house? Yeah, wherever she is. Is know. she not in Tucson right now? I thought she moved back there. I don't know if I wanted to say that. That's why I was keeping it. Low it's low. whatever. All you right. guys can uh, not find people in Tucson. There's like 50 million of them. Anyway. <laughs> um, well, so yeah, I, to, to be continued, I'll figure out how all of that's going to go down. But the answer is I have no idea. Um, but I won't be gone overnight or anything. It'll be a couple hours. <coughs> a couple hours? <coughs> like eight? Ten. I know, it's like, <coughs> like I should at least try and get there by like <coughs> nine or eight or nine, you know, like. Yeah, because you're going to be back at like dark. Yeah, and I if don't. If you get there at I eight, you'll be back at dark. dark. Though she can, I'm sure, right? Well, yeah, I just mean through the city to come here. Oh, yeah, that makes sense too. Make her drive me home too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just leave our car at our house. She can have it as a token. No. <laughs> We're kidding. Um, no, we yeah. need our car. <laughs> but I don't think any of that's anxious. That's actually, I'm excited because I get to hang out. And I'm anxious because I'm going to worry about these two girls on the road. <laughs> yeah, but Ben will be here watching Connor, so honestly, he'll forget I'm gone half the time. That's true. Yeah, you always, like, forget I go places when you have Connor, so. I know, you come back and I'm like, damn, I didn't do anything for me. <laughs> yeah, what I'm sucks is like sitting there surfing YouTube. All I day. will have worked that the day before that too. So, but it's what you do for the kids you love. That's right. Don't do anything. And then the following week, I'm gonna do my best to get back up there somewhere. Halfway, Chafia. To get Jason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, you hear that? Two fucking trips I'm down there. I'm not going all the way. To make the kids happy, uh, ex-wife, don't give a shit about their <laughs> happiness. But, yeah. Because uh, obviously she doesn't too. care about ours, so yeah. Yeah, and this is a podcast. Like, it's weird because with your lives, I don't know. Like, you talk about real life stuff. Yeah. But I don't want to talk about it, you know? Oh, I got you. So, uh, Shut this is our down. podcast, and obviously these are anxiety-inducing scenarios. That's so what we're talking about yeah. today. Anxiety. Um, your mom texted me, Happy Thanksgiving. I forgot about that. Ew. When? On Thanksgiving. Did you tell her I don't celebrate it? No, it, it wasn't that. It was <laughs> She her, wouldn't know. It she was her previous around. message. Ben, I'm passing on a message for you and Connor. Oh, my God. To the Happy Thanksgiving and yeah, I know like, you just you. said we don't talk about personal stuff, but fuck you for that, Mom. That yeah, was fucked up. Seriously. That was fucked up. Yeah, like, come on. You're going to just continue to segregate and separate? We're not We're not breaking up. Like, what the hell? I know. Like, you know, like, and there's nothing wrong well, with that. that's what I had to tell Kayla. I said, Kayla, it has been five years. <laughs> Nothing's going badly. I have been raising your children for five years. And you dare say what? <laughs> you know? So Five yeah. years, exactly. One of them, seven. Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> the one that started, it's two when I met him. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, it's, no. Like, you, you're Plan fucking crazy. Ha has no idea that I never existed. So anyway, uh, the ex, yeah, she took some shots at all of us. and. But then, yeah, and then she, like, whole bunch of drama goes now. in cahoots with Ben's mom. Yeah. And, and if you want to know more about that, just watch my live feeds um, yeah, from a few days really back. Open. Go to YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, everybody. That's really important, 70% of our listeners are not subscribed. And that is uh, accurate with every single channel on YouTube. I know. It's standard. Every I've seen that. One, yeah. yeah. But I want more subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> Help my brother out. Oh, and you know what else is more anxiety? What? The fact that... Uh, Fortnite season is ending, and I gotta buy a battle pass. <laughs> that eight dollars is bugging you? Yeah, no, it's not bugging me, but it <coughs> means the map's gonna change, and yeah, and my levels are gonna start over, and yeah. It's... On a good note, we got like half the Christmas presents bought, which also brings a lot of anxiety. Winter Solstice presents, I mean. Uh, not even half, but. We started. We're we, we broke the seal. We're doing good. Yeah, yeah. so now we we're... got things coming in the mail, things already stashed, you know. Well, like we're on a I have mode. nothing ordered in the mail. You didn't order those packs? No, because I want to order everything at once. So, Jason doesn't listen to this. Oh, this, you're right? lame. Uh, I don't know. So. But just don't say anything. <laughs> no, for Connor. <coughs> you there know, you like you said, he doesn't know the education things, but I don't want to, like, plaster <coughs> him until he's nine. You know how bad my fingers hurt after putting all those thumbtacks in the wall? <laughs> That's because he knows what's coming next. She just asked... <laughs> <laughs> it was like 38 thumbtacks. My fingers were killing I just, me. <laughs> uh, I'd like to deck the boys' room out in Minecraft and Fortnite stuff. Yeah, every kid would love that. Yeah. I know a few adults that would love that. So I want to find some curtains. Like, I just... Okay, it could use curtains. Yeah, fine. But that's not... That, okay, you're giving me anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're doing. <laughs> I'm good. No, you're you're totally right. Because thinking about Christmas or mm -hmm. uh, about winter presents gives me anxiety. Talking about it, yeah. I look over at her phone and I'm like, oh god, you're on Amazon. I can't. <laughs> I gotta get away. It's because it's because we have no idea what they want, so it's driving us crazy. It's driving us crazy. It's yes. like, what the fuck do we get these? Well, kids? I blame her for that. She moved. No, and I now agree. I don't fucking know my don't kids. Know what it she's feels getting. like you know what we I mean. We don't know what they want. The only thing Jason wants is pillows and stuffed animals. Yeah, come on. But he has a million of them. Yeah, like so, come on. <laughs> I can't get that. I just it, sent two garbage bags full to his mom's house. And, and Ben <laughs> and I are very. Sh we buy them presents throughout the year pretty religiously. Like yeah, yeah. If, if they want something and they vocalize it, we get it. Yeah, it's not it's, like oh wait till Xmas. No, yeah. We don't, we so don't do now that. <laughs> you know it's coming. And we've already bought them everything. Like, Connor, especially. What? He's easy to shop for because he's really grateful for everything, but he's hard to get the right thing. You know, you got to think of what he's not going to ask for. <laughs> well, we could say what we got him. Okay. So we lost our PlayStation membership, PS Plus. Uh-huh. So. Uh, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and there was a lot of games on there, kid-friendly games that... Once you lose your membership, even though the games are downloaded and you've been playing them for a year, they're gone. And that was the one, right? Fuck you, PlayStation. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we bought him Plants vs. Zombies. 
the game. We can say that. Connor doesn't listen to this. We got Connor DC villains. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. My bad. Yeah, no, oh you're totally God. right. He, that was he, a different he, game that he lost. I built it up yeah. and everything. You're like, I built it all up. <laughs> so we got him. We got him. Boom, 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 boom. Not this, no. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, we got Lego's DC villains. He loves that game. We really had almost all it. the characters unlocked. I know. We were so hey, far. Hey, might, you might still. Oh, I know we do. Yeah. It's still there. Yeah. But we had to purchase the game. We found it. It was a good deal. Bargain. Can we pause or something? Yeah. Okay. Pa -pa -pa pause. Now I don't know where we were, but we're back though. Uh, Ben and I were just talking. I I was in the restroom. <laughs> uh, so you're like, why were you talking off camera? Uh, but yeah. So the door was wide open. We were chatting it up. Your brain only pays attention. <laughs> your brain only pays attention to the things that you pay attention to, right? So right. You know, you have like a hankering and then you look outside and somebody's doing it and you look out the other way and someone's doing it. All right, but look at the people that are not doing it, right? We're talking about cigarettes. Yeah. Just so everybody knows. Oh, the yeah. dog wants something. He's staring at me. So I don't <laughs> smoke cigarettes, you know? Yeah, and neither do I. And More than three months sober now. And neither does our, over, our other neighbor. So it's just like pay attention. You're right. Yeah. We don't. He don't. Let's focus on them. But see, I got people to my left and my immediate right that do. They step outside to smoke, and that's all I ever see. So it's, I got to adjust my brain sights. Exactly. Holy hell, Meatball. <laughs> Did he fart? Probably. He's got a butthole smell. Meatball, go lay down. Go lay down, go dude. On, go on. He's hungry, guys. I know. Go, I'll go feed go you down. in just a minute. I promise. <laughs> Everybody's like, just pause it and feed your dog. All right, I'm going to go feed no, my no, dog. No, 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 no. Pause! I believe in you. I fed the dog. <laughs> I believe in you to, you know, stay on your straight and narrow course when it comes to cigarettes. But Oh, yeah. I'm good. I got it. I'm just letting you know that, uh, you know, sometimes the challenge presents itself when I watch people spark a, stick, a cigarette. You're like, and your thing is, why don't you just roll a joint, smoke a joint? Because it's not that easy. The cigarette thing was the convenience. It was a pack in your pocket. You just pull it out and light it. You know what I mean? You've never dealt that with Yes, that. I have. I always carried a metal tin full of like 10 of them. Uh-uh. Only All when the we go on trips. If That's we're true. home, you always go and you have to roll one first. Nope. I rolled them at the beginning of the day. No, you didn't. Or at night. Nope. 20 you, at a time. No, no that was back when I worked. Yeah. And you, <laughs> you would only do that once in a while. I would roll 30 back when I was working at ALS. Yeah, that's crazy. That's disgusting. <laughs> I also didn't have a machine. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. But, no. So, so we don't know if the job or cigarettes killed my hands. <laughs> Could have never had a convenient cigarette like that. Not recently. So it's like, that's like a cop out, you know? All right, I'm copping out. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. But, no, I just, we went down a rabbit hole. And uh, <clears throat> don't worry, guys. I'm never going to smoke again. I've decided that. Really? Mm hmm You know, what's crazy? Not even a cigar, because I never like cigars. It's just the aesthetic of them. That's true. I just think it's crazy because it does affect your health. You know? Like, I don't know. There's just so many things when we met that we did that probably triggered so much anxiety. And then and now we're, like, not really doing anything but super anxious. <laughs> what do you mean? What are you talking about? Dive into it. Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, Besides cigarettes, but what well, else? Well, we both drank pretty heavily when we met. And cigarettes and, yeah, you know, like other not so... Oh, I've told people about my puking of blood and I, yeah. don't, I don't do alcohol, liquor anymore. <clears throat> well, that happened after we had the baby. I'm talking when we first met. Mm -hmm. And now we're like anxious balls of, of mess, you know, but <laughs> we're... Just uh, working on it, you know. We're use we're dealing with it without I, substances. I, I want to say that ninety five, I might even give her ninety nine percent of our stress and anxiety comes from the X. Yeah. Ninety nine percent. Yes, because if my kids were right here, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> they had they were for a whole year, and it was great. No, that was a nightmare, too. It, it, it's all oh, because oh, she was down the road. That's right. Yeah, exactly. It's because it came with her unpredictable shit. Yeah. Yep, and her family problems. And oh, her we family drama. We weren't allowed to parent them the way we wanted to. Yeah, and they're like hardcore religious, too, so it's like they, they think we're Satanists. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or whatever. so if, <laughs> if she moved somewhere, like 30, 45 minutes away, where mm -hmm. we had a set schedule, yep. there'd be no anxiety. 
Well, it's in the court order. <laughs> no, no, we nobody don't have believes a court. in that shit. We do not have a court order. Period. No, I'm talking about my legal divorce. No, yeah, but no, it's a divorce is separate than divorce with children. So, like, I went to parenting classes and everything after that divorce. I know. Well, I she had did to. Too. Yeah, we had to. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, government. And I had to pay for that shit. Fuck you, government. Yeah, it was to go weird. sit down and listen to some douchebag that literally and had now no. Now we don't even follow that court order, so anyway. Yeah, he had no knowledge of my relationship. He didn't know shit. There's no current court order, period. So, it Ben has just as much of a right to go and pick those children up and enroll them right now. She cannot call for kidnapping if you know you have a plan set. You know the worst part? Mm-hmm. I don't even know her home address. Yeah, that's true. Communication with her is non-existent. Yeah, except it's funny, though, because we going to go up there, and I'm going to have a communicator available, you know, like uh, a oh. phone number to call from. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because she it. blocked our phone. She's petty. Yeah. But, yeah, so you're right, though. Like, uh, the biggest chunk of stress definitely comes from her. Yes, 100%. Like, how are we supposed to work on our family dynamic without the other part of the family? Like, I want the ben best for are, everybody, but... Ben and I are, like, constantly working on ourselves or trying to. Maybe we get lost in it too much, but and we her can't idea, work on it with the kids if the kids aren't well, here. Well, her idea of working on herself is going to the gym. Uh, yeah, You know literally. what I mean? That's literally it. She's like, wow, I fit in my jeans better. I must be doing so good in life. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's Our idea how she of working is. Working on herself is physical. That's physical. Yes, like oh, I'm getting a butt implant or whatever the fuck. She's that type of person. I know, but yeah. Um, so if if the kids were here, so we could all work on our dynamic together and learn to love and respect each other, it'd be great. But no, they come back and it's like it's hard not to be anxious. We're so far ahead. Yeah. And she parented them so far behind. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really frustrating. You know, like simple things like don't throw your shoes in the middle of the living room. There's a shelf. It's right there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or watch what you're doing. Yeah. Every time you're doing something. <laughs> Use two hands. Use two hands. Yeah. yeah exactly. Sit at the table. You know, like things like that. You All know? those things. Like so, it, it's not too much to ask. <laughs> yeah, it's. Pick up after yourself, you know. Pretty like much that. a clusterfuck. I mean, Connor's going through something. Connor's causing me a lot of anxiety lately. Yeah, what's he doing to you? He's being poopy. I mean, <laughs> he's being four. He's yeah, he's four. There you go. That explains. That last, sums it up. He's testing night, boundaries. He's testing huge boundaries, and he knows he's doing it too because last night he screamed in my face and threw a box at me, and I decided he to doesn't just... do anything like that to me ever. Just so you guys know. But that's the pro. That that's the problem, though. Why? Maybe I don't know. Maybe you aren't interacting with him enough. Hmm. <laughs> I like, spend all day with him. Uh, I do art project. No, that's not right. It's no, I know you do art project. No, but I'm saying I mean, it's a. Uh, you don't have rules for him. There you, you go. You don't do bedtime with there him. There you, you go. You don't get him ready in That's the morning. That's what Rainy does. Rainy, yes, she is books, 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 study books, books. <laughs> and me, I'm like, whatever you want, bro. Yeah. You but, hungry? I'll fix you something up. Let's do it. And you're like, three o'clock. <laughs> That's because you have a really bad relationship with food. Maybe, but whatever. I'm just saying, he it's chill. And then you come around and he's mad. And he's like, no! I don't want to shower now! <laughs> and I don't know why, because he showers every night. But when <laughs> I do it, I say, I just turn it on and I say, your shower is running. And he goes. I know. He doesn't argue with me. And I'm, I don't I don't spank my kids. I don't spank my kids. So there's no reason for him to fear me. You know what I well, mean? Well, yeah, he doesn't fear either of us. That's why he's screaming and throwing boxes at me. Because he knows I'm not going to hurt him. We're just going to talk about it. But yeah, I that's what you do too. You boy, you sit down at his level, you stare at his eyes, and you give him a mom talk. Like so, that's what you're supposed. To do. <laughs> I know, but you're just like an extreme mom. <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to get. Don't throw that box at me. Obviously, he knows. Don't throw the box. No, I just get hit, and I pretend like I'm in a major pain. Make him feel like trash. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Your kid know. obviously knows he's not allowed to throw that box. So you yelling. Not you specifically. I'm yeah, talking like to the audience now. Yelling, don't throw that box, isn't going to stop anything. You know, that's like, obviously, he already knew that he wasn't supposed yeah. to do that. So now you have to figure out, well, why did he do that, even though he knew not to? 
Well, I remember you had a theory at one point where you think that it's because they feel more comfortable. I still that feel that they act way. out. You think that he acts out because he's more comfortable around you? Yes, because I can really, like, he can really experience those feelings, and I will talk with him. And no, I'm you're not, right. yeah, no, like, you're right. Because if he he starts getting, uh, like, if I say something stern and he looks sad, I tell him cut that out. Yeah. I'm like, no, 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 we're not arguing, you're not in trouble, don't cry. <laughs> yeah. And that's fucked up. I should stop that. Yeah. But it's, and that's the thing, is that this is the time. I'm going to stop that. You know, this sure. is the cycle. We have to stay patient, mm -hmm. you know, and you are firm a lot, but you're firm first. Like, you don't even give him a chance to say no, you know? You're right. I, like, don't allow fuck-ups. I stop them before they happen. Yeah, <laughs> and he needs to be I'm able like, to... I'm like, nope, if you step right there, you're going to fall. Step over here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't even let him figure it out. I also... He walked into a gate this morning, and I wasn't quick enough to stop him, but he just... Obviously, he learned not to do that. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's a gate. So Look even, where you're going, yeah. Even though you're relaxed <laughs> when it comes to scheduling, you're a lot more rigid when it comes to, like how they move their bodies and <laughs> use their words and Pick stuff. your feet up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I'm I know, like, it's instilled. My parents did all that. I know, and I'm like the opposite. I'm like, do whatever you want. No, babe, let him learn. You know? Like, within reason. Within reason, you yeah. Know, I, so he's running with a knife. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just let him learn. No, I, I'm not like that. But there's certain things where it's like a just let him learn situation. Yeah. And... You know, like messing with the cats. Mess, yeah, that was what I was going to yeah, say. We cats. know the cats well enough to know he's not going to get hurt. Right, and the dog. Yeah. yeah. We know he's not going to hurt him, but he will snip at him, you know? <laughs> well, he's nipped at Landon when Landon was smaller. Uh -huh. When Landon was four. Uh, but we had just gotten Meatball. We just so gotten him, yeah. He didn't know us very well. Yeah, Meatball knows the baby for sure. He's a part of the family now. Well, Batman's <laughs> a good example. Batman doesn't like Connor. Batman still scratches if Connor he tries to scratch. pick him up. He No, he just like hits he him up. He smacks him. Yeah, he yeah. smacks like him. Like he does with Indy or Bravo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tries, yeah. To, he just, tries to hierarchy. He's like, no, 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 in your place. Yeah, yeah. he tries <laughs> to put him in his place. And, um, which is fair, Batman's older by a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Batman sees him as one of him. Like a cat. That's how Batman treats Connor. But Connor doesn't like it, so he doesn't go near Batman, which is exactly what he's Batman is trying to do. He's scared of him. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> Batman accomplished it. He's like, how, good, don't come near how me. How can you be scared of Batman? Because because Connor picks up cats. He loves to pick up cats and carry them, but Batman does not allow it. <laughs> well, I like to pick up cats and carry them, too. He doesn't even let you hold them. We saw it on a live. I know. <laughs> he gets held for a second. He's... He's on her lap right now, and he's ready to leave. <laughs> I put him on my lap. Let's see if he leaves. Let's see. Bye, Batman. Go All right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he left. <man. laughs> he left. Oh, he's even. He's leaving. leaving. He's like. He's like. He's you out. disturbed me. <laughs> His dog is like just watching. Like I don't want any part of it. Same with Indy over there. Yeah, we had a lot of cats. But here. yeah, so uh, yeah, so Connor's giving us a little bit of anxiety just because he's blatantly not listening and it's getting a little much you know it, but, it'll change don't worry. yeah but yeah. that this is pushing buttons is when you establish the boundaries exactly last night i told him he could finish watching the show then he started being mean and screaming at me so i took the remote and i turned it off and i said we're getting in the shower now and he well, was that's a lesson really, learned he was really mad he screamed yeah. that's when he threw the box because oh, i turned okay. off the show okay okay well but that was a hard lesson learned yeah he knew you know, he knew he was being disrespectful, and he's not going to get to finish the show if he's going to be screaming at me. No. So he got in the shower, and eventually he did exactly what I asked him to. And that's the point. You just keep going with the boundaries, you know? You don't just be like, fine, you can finish it even though you screamed at me. Oh, yeah, no, hell no. Me. Yeah, uh, you're done. No, and if you don't stick to your guns, your kids will walk right Oh, and you. he and he, cover, he covered my mouth. He tried to stop me from talking. Oh, my God. So I told him that he was done watching the show. I had to bit his finger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, because what happened is I have a cold sore, so I had to grab that hand, pick him up by the hand, and get him some soap and water immediately before that hand touched anything else. Yeah, she's really worried about it spreading. So that was also uh, a good way to, like... What is it? Uh, redirect. Yeah. Because I said, dude, 
your mean act turned into you needing your hand washed. And he's like, not this sink. And I said, I don't care what sink you think you're going in <laughs> well, right now. That's the kind of shit I tell him, too. You know, let's stop and listen to say safe. We, yeah. we tell him that all the time. And then what happens? He gets hurt right yeah. after he decides to defy. Uh-huh. It always, karma always bites him in the ass. And I think it's starting to stick. And he's like, oh, maybe I should listen to mom and But now. also, in my experience, four years old is definitely the hardest of yeah. all of those toddler years. I learned that from Daniel Tiger, by the way. What? Stop oh, stop it. Yeah. Stay safe. Daniel Tiger's this shit. When Landon was four, <laughs> he was a, an entire nightmare. He was like <laughs> yeah. peeing in people's shoes and like oh, using, man. Yeah, using Landon. the litter box. Like, was, <laughs> he, he, yeah, he really tested some boundaries. It was so bad and <clears throat> nobody knew how to fix it or stop it. I love, and, I love my landing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he kind of just grew out of it. Just grew but out of it, yeah. it was just, it was a nightmare. And now Connor's, like, starting to enter that nightmare. My parenting <laughs> tactics were way different back then. Well, that's true, too. So this this will be a different ride. We'll see. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> because you learn something with every child. Absolutely. And he's a, he is a receptive child, so as long as our boundaries stay firm, it'll never be unexpected of what we want him to do. It's just whatever you guys think you know. The people that don't have kids right now, whatever you think you know about parenting, I want you to completely forget. The people that are pregnant right now, yes. and they have an idea completely of the parent they're going to be. Completely forget mm-hmm. that person. That's not who you are, and that's not who you want to be. You want to break every fucking cycle that you're thinking about right but now. But you know the cycle that I will break, and I said this with Connor, but now I really know, is if, if I ever have a child mm-hmm. again, yep. I will be staying away from that red dye. Yeah, you know, oh, sure. from the food dye, you know? Yeah. I I trying to instill it in Connor's mind now because he ate a lollipop and I told him Oh that. yeah, no, we're we're good about not buying things with dye and shit. Yeah, we Every don't. now and then we do, I know, but But even that little bit is really? enough. Even the tiniest bit. Okay. It's well. like your brain can handle this much and everything else has this much in it. So even if it's a tiny bit, it's so still So we'll, really we'll strive we'll strive to make that change. We'll, yeah. We can do that. No more Skittles, no more sour oh, I don't, worms. Yeah, I don't... We're going to get them gummy that. worms. we got to find, like, Ooh. the healthy alternative. Maybe there's a healthy alternative. They usually have them on Amazon. Wow. <laughs> healthy alternatives to candy, so... Of course. It's always expensive. It's just good for you. Yeah, exactly. It's like, geez, like, other countries don't use that kind of crap. You feel trapped yet, Americans? Uh-huh. <laughs> and right? I guess, on that note... What? You feel trapped, Americans? Yeah. Peace. Uh, <laughs> peace. <laughs>